Hey guys, what is up? It's Cherry Dot here. Welcome back to Cherry Dot's Tree. And I look a little bit pale today. I look a little bit bare. Mainly because I've got no makeup on. <laughs> I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. It's from the body shop and a lot of people have been going on about it. So I thought I'd try it. It is the Japanese matcha tea. There you go, the Japanese matcha tea. Again, it's from the body shop. It's meant to be very good. From what I hear anyway, it's for more like removes pollution. So again, it's to help with your pores and things, inspired by traditional beauty remedies. So then it kind of goes on to the back where it explains about matcha tea from Japan. It's known for its antioxidant properties for healthier looking skin. It has all of this on the back and obviously then it has its uh, it's little instructions on how to put it on. So um, first of all, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna show you what exactly it is. There you go, that's what it looks like. It is, uh, it looks very brown. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm expecting from this, honestly. I'm not gonna give you a complete review today, mainly because I want to try it on and use it for next few days. See, well, I think you can use it about two to three times a week, which is quite good. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to put this all in one video or whether I'm just gonna give you a review on how it feels and everything and what it's like. Well, that's probably a good thing that it has that on because otherwise this probably would have spilled everywhere by now. So <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I don't know why. I just think it's adorable. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I can't help some of my hair because it's a little bit shorter here, but I mean, for the most part, it's on. And I got my cat ears. So at the bottom it says remove any makeup and cleanse the skin, which I already have done. Um, smooth an even layer of the mask onto your skin and I have to obviously avoid the eyes and the lips which is like most masks apply to the neck as well if you want and leave for 5 to, 50, uh, to 10 minutes rinse off with warm water and circular motions oh okay then so again yeah two to three times a week every week which is actually quite nice it's a mask that you can use quite often which some of them you can't some of them also dry out rather than actually help you but anyway right we're gonna pop that there. I feel like I should have got a spatula or something. Oh my, okay, that is nothing what I thought. <laughs> it looks like actually brown in the thing and I'm just like, oh yeah, it looks brown. It's probably, okay. Actually, that smells really nice. I'm gonna keep that as well so that I can keep popping it back on because I feel like I'm gonna make an absolute mess of this, but that's actually, I can't even think what it smells like. I mean, I've never obviously had much tea so I wouldn't know, but it's it's not a bad smell like it's not horrible so that's that's a good start anyway right so we have to apply a thin layer <laughs> it's gonna go horribly wrong it's gonna go oh, absolutely okay oh oh so i'm gonna just use my finger just to do this i haven't got a spatula so oh man it's, it's a lot stronger now i've got it out of the box well not the box but the <laughs> all right oh oh Oh, there's, there's like harder bits in here. Oh, for like, I assume for exfoliating. Oh, so I'm going to try my best to get a thin layer on. Um, seems quite easy to apply. Not, not bad or anything. Probably a lot easier with a spatula saying that, but oh yeah, I've got to get my chin. My chin is like the worst part for all of my spots. Like it is the most frustrating part for me. So I'm gonna make sure I get all that. Right, I'll be right back. Just gonna pop all of this on my face, yo. All right, so I'm just gonna check the time so that I know exactly how long I'm leaving this on for. I think I'm gonna leave it on for the full 10 minutes, this one. Um, I also, I'm kind of looking at the pot now. I've used actually quite a little bit of it and I'm wondering how long this will actually last. Um, with all products like uh, Body Shop, I mean, it's not cheap, cheap. This was, I think, 16 pounds. Um, I did have the 30% off and I did buy a couple other products, but still, even with the 30% off, this is actually quite expensive. Um, for me anyway, it's like, a, it's a face mask, like I don't always use a whole load of them. So for me, it's like, oh my goodness, but if it obviously works, then it's probably worth a bit more of the price. Um, again, I'm more concerned about how long it's going to last. I mean, the pot isn't a bad size, but... I just don't know how much I'd use each time and hmm 
I don't know. I hope it's going to be worth it though, because obviously, you know, if you buy something, it's a bit more expensive. You want to be, I can't find a lid. Oh, there it is. You want to be obviously able to use it as much as you can for, you know, how much you're spending on it. I can, it definitely feels like this almost, because I think there's tea tree in this or something. I know there's aloe vera in this, but it feels like almost tea tree on my face. Like it's very, you know that fresh kind of feeling when you when it's like a mint almost? I don't know how to explain, but it feels like that on my skin right now. It doesn't hurt, doesn't sting, it's just pretty nice and I can kind of feel it kind of working if that makes sense. Oh, here we go. So the match tea, dandelion extract, um, and then it's got like an aloe vera in there as well. So that's kind of what it's kind of doing here. So there is no tea tree, but it's just that's what it's doing. So it has two things on here where it says instantly and facial after facial. The instantly means obviously it's instant, that's what you notice straight away. Skin feels uh, deeply purified, cleared of impurities and looks brighter as if built up dullness, pollution and grime are peeled away. Skin texture appears refined. And then the one after, so facial after facial, if you've used it a few times. Uh, skin feels protected against environmental pollutions. Basically, it's to kind of help your skin feel a bit renewed as well. I don't know how to explain as well, but my face feels very, um, how do you put it, like cold right now. <laughs> like, it must be obviously to do with the mask, but my face just feels really cold. And it's just really, really weird, and it kind of looks like I've got a weird moustache going on here. I tried to do it as evenly as I could, but this isn't actually easy stuff to kind of work with in terms of evenness. All right, 10 minutes is up, so I'm gonna go wash this off and hopefully uh, we'll see some improvements afterwards. Oh my goodness, the bag's underneath my eyes. Kill me. All right, let's go wipe this off. <laughs> so now that I've gone and wiped it all off, okay, I've, I used circular motions and um, used warm water and I've now gone and patted my face dry to make sure that it's all okay and everything it's all dried and I'm just kind of feeling my skin now and I don't know I don't know if it looks brighter to you guys but it kind of does a little bit to me it just my skin was actually really feeling quite dull and quite dry this morning when I woke up um, especially after I had a shower and everything so I wanted to see if this would help in any way and I'm just kind of feeling it now and it just my, my skin still feels I don't know how to explain, but it still feels like the mask is a little bit on it. But yeah, it's it feels a lot smoother and it just feels really soft at the moment, which is really nice. It does kind of look bright. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of looks brighter to me, but that's just me. Um, overall, I will have to see whether this product is going to be good over time. Because right now, obviously, you can see I've got quite a few spots on my face and... I know like it's to do with like stress and other things and blah 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 but yeah I just wanted to try this to see if it would help um, I will probably end up leaving a comment or um, changing the description a little bit later on to sort of like say to you guys hey look this actually did pretty well um, it's cleared up my face or whatever or I really love it but at the moment um, with just what I can see now and what I can feel and just how I don't know, kind of like a mixture of how expensive it is and everything. For me, it is quite expensive, but by the looks of it, you might be able to get a, quite a bit out of this before it actually completely runs out, which is quite nice. Um, I do like the smell. It's not for everybody, I don't think, but it's still a nice smell. It's not horrible or anything like that. And um, just how it leaves the skin just after the first use is actually really, really nice. So I'm going to probably go ahead and apply like my primer and stuff for, ready for what I'm gonna do today and stuff so it's quite I don't know it's nice I'm just here stroking my skin like a normal person <laughs> so overall I do actually quite like this product like I said what I've seen so far I might end up getting another one if I'm just like oh my goodness I can't live without this but yeah just like I said after the first use I actually quite like it already and you know if it keeps doing this and it's controlling like how dry my skin is and helping obviously clear up spots then I most likely will buy again. So hopefully you enjoyed this video um, I actually quite liked reviewing this um, I'd like to do more of this kind of stuff but it just depends on when I have time and uh, obviously it all costs me money so it's just whenever I pick up new things that I think oh actually that'd be quite interesting but again if you liked it go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time bye bye